Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the histology and layers of the retina. So in this video we are going to look at the histology, the cells, the layers, what is going on with our retina. So we're going to look at the 10 principal layers. Um, I'll go ahead and draw them out and then we're going to label and draw lines representing the 10 layers of retina. So let's go ahead and start with our first layer that we want to draw. And I'm going to draw it like this. This is going to be our uh, retinal pigmented epithelium. I will come back and label everything. But I will discuss these as I go. And I will label um, as I go some of these structures as well. So this is our pigmented epithelium. Let's just go ahead and add a few of these little um, melanin vesicles in here so we can add a few melanin vesicles to make that look a little bit more histologically accurate okay we'll add just a few layers there so that will be our retinal pigmented epithelium next what we want to look at is our layer of rods and cones our so-called photoreceptor layer now i will draw these out we'll we'll look at these cellularly and uh try to draw them with some decent amount of accuracy in terms of their uh, structure. I don't know why that just happened. Um, sometimes I guess I touch the screen as I'm drawing um, and it can be a little frustrating when you're trying to do certain things. There we go. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw some bipolar cells. Now these are very important cells. I'll talk a little bit about function, not a whole lot about function uh, in this video. There will be other, um, I have a video where I discuss the physiology of these cells a little bit more in detail. I do a, have a whole video on photoreceptor phys. Um, talking a little bit about the bipolar cells uh, there. And the last one we're going to do is our ganglion cells. And as we talk about ganglion cells, and then I've got one more cell that I want to talk about um, as we come along to the end uh, that I will draw out. Um, and then at least one big cell. And then we'll talk about some smaller cells in just a minute. So uh, these are my ganglion cells. So let's go ahead and write the names of the cells we've just done here. So uh, these cells are ganglion cells. They're going to be what makes cranial nerve number two. These cells here, these are bipolar cells. And then here we have rods and we have cones. Now what I want to do is just discuss uh, one of these in unique little cells that I want to go ahead and mention now. And I'm going to kind of draw in here a really large, really prevalent, I hate when it does that when I accidentally touch the screen. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not going to redo just because I accidentally touched the screen a little bit. Um, and uh, not just going to do that. Okay. And then we're going to draw that guy like that. Okay, and this is a Mueller cell. Let's just go ahead and write Mueller cell inside of it. Mueller cell. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the functions of Mueller cells and what they do as well in just a minute. So, now that we have the principal cells, let's add a few extra detailed cells here. And to do that, I'm going to add a couple extra cells. Uh, one of which I want to discuss here, and I'm going to use some slightly different colors uh, just to do that. Let me go ahead and move to, a, a, let's say we'll use purple here. And there's a cell I want to talk about that will help link um, uh, kind of together here and uh, exist between there. And that is a horizontal cell. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about horizontal cells. Let me change the pen size just for clarity.
And lastly, I want to add a cell called an American cell. And let's just use this deep dark blue for that. Um, we'll use a deep dark blue, this, this deep dark blue here for an American cell. All right, American cell. All right, now what we want to do is we're going to go through and look at the principal layers. So we've already discussed one layer here, and this is called the retinal, because it's with the retina, retinal, pigmented, because it's pigmented with um, your um, melanin, pigmented epithelium. Very important because it helps to supply nutrients to the rest of the cells. Now what we're going to do, we are going to draw a line right across here representing a layer. And uh, then what we want to do is write in that this is right here, the photoreceptor layer. Now, I will number all these uh, because I have a mnemonic, and I'm going to follow that mnemonic in just a moment. Photoreceptor layer. Now, our line, this is representing our external limiting membrane. Now, I can remember... Uh, as a student trying to learn all these, it was definitely intimidating as a student to learn all these different layers. And um, I can remember sketching it over and over. External limiting membrane. Now what we want to do right about here, just above this area, right about here, and while I'm at it, let me go ahead and draw in that there's a uh, there are nuclei there because I always like to make sure that you can see those uh, when we discuss because that is our outer nuclear layer uh, found right here. That's going to contain the nuclei of your rods and cones, your photoreceptors. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move down just below this and then just above, right about here. And we have what is called an outer plexiform layer. And I... Um, Kind of wish I gave myself a little bit more uh, room to number these. Outer plexiform layer. All right. Now, then we have a layer here that's going to contain all these nuclei. Now, we're moving more inner now, so this is our inner nuclear layer. We had an outer. Remember, in anatomy, we don't use words we don't need. All right. Then once we got the inner nuclear layer, we're going to have all this stuff right here. Uh, quite a large layer. And this is going to be our inner plexiform layer. The inner plexiform layer. All right. Then we're going to have these cells and the nuclei of these cells. This is going to give us our ganglion cell layer. Now we just have two more. I'm going to draw one line at the bottom here. And we're going to draw two more. We need to know the nerve fiber layer. And then lastly, this little membrane, the inner limiting membrane. The inner limiting membrane. 
Okay, so that's all of our layers. There are 10. Now let's break these 10 down. Okay, so let's look at these 10 layers and get all 10 of them. I'll use a nice, uh, let me pick a nice color here that should stand out. Uh, let's use this really unique color. Okay, so what we're going to do is number one, our retinal pigmented epithelium. Then number two, our photoreceptor layer. Number three, our external limiting membrane. Number four, our outer nuclear layer. Number five, our outer plexiform layer. Number six, our inner nuclear layer. Number seven, our inner plexiform layer. Number eight, our ganglion cell layer. Number nine, our nerve fiber layer. And then lastly, number 10, our inner limiting membrane. Now, there's a mnemonic I like to use. I'm going to write it down on, the, uh, on a slide here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and use it. And I use it, uh, we're going to start on, uh, the, uh, on number 10 and work towards uh, number 1, so from 10 to 1. And since this was such a stressful thing, I can remember learning it and having a hard time uh, keeping it straight. It's like, is that, it's going to take forever to get every layer down. And I drew it and I sketched it and I wrote it down and I did everything. Well, uh, so at the point where my nerves get plenty knots outside our easy practice review, my, the, inter, the inner limiting membrane, my nerves, nerve fiber layer, get ganglion cell layer, plenty inner plexiform layer, knots, nuclear layer, the inner nuclear layer. Now we're working from the inside out, so it's always going to be the inner one first, then the outer one. Now that we have our uh, knots outside, outer plexiform layer, our outer nuclear layer, easy external limiting membrane, practice photoreceptor layer, review retinal pigmented epithelium. Um, and this is the way that I kind of remembered it, is that um, was um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, was um, my nerves get Plenty knots outside our easy practice review. Okay. So um, that's going to help you get each of the layers. All right. Now let's talk just a little bit about what these do. Uh, first off, our pigment epithelium is very important to supply nutrients to rods and cones. They absorb any excess light by using the uh, pigment uh, with melatonin. They also help recycle rhodopsin. Uh, nearby them will be the choroid layer. And uh, so basically what you're going to do is nearby here there will be a set of capillaries. And these capillaries will supply nutrients to the whole thing. Histologically, there will be a bunch of capillaries there. So now rods and cones are sensitive to light. Please remember that uh, uh, rods are good in the dark. Rods are more, there's more of them, uh, and they are uh, more sensitive. Cones seek color, they require a lot more light. They are less sensitive and they see color. They're red cones, uh, red cones green cones, and blue cones. Uh, the, uh, so remember the rods and cones and how they work. Um, and they also, uh, the horizontal cells help integrate between the photoreceptors. Um, your um, 
horizontal cells, things like that. Uh, they can act to inhibit the ganglion cells. They are integrating between photoreceptors. Uh, uh, your, um, sorry, your uh, amacrine cells help inhibit ganglion cells. Uh, the Mueller cells, they help control the extracellular fluids. Uh, sorry, I was looking at two things at once and I got a little tripped up over what I was trying to say. Okay, so uh, this really gets us through all the physiology here. A uh, really simple video. I wanted to have been, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Is just go over the major layers of the retina and its basic histology. Uh, this concludes our video on the retina. I hope you found it useful. If there's other videos you'd like to see me do, please let me know. But as always, don't forget to give me a comment and a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. But always let me know what you'd like to see me do on future videos. But as always, just thank you so much for watching and have a great day.